Hi, this is John Barclay, and today I want to introduce you to a wonderful new program I found that makes uh, this idea of layering textures on images really easy. Well, actually, it makes it easy and really fun. Uh, so let me introduce you to the company here. If you go into, once you load their software, and the software is from, an, from a company called Totally Rad, and it's Dirty Pictures is the one that I'm using, it gives you an interface that looks like this where you have a texture list and you can see the names of all the textures, but that's no fun. That doesn't make it easy. You have to remember, right? So look at this. We just click here and we can see all the different textures that come pre-canned. And by the way, if you go a little further here, the pre-canned ones that come with uh, the uh, Dirty Pictures program are here uh, with all these neat names. And then if you'd like, let me go hit Never mind. you can go and add. If you go to your options, and then manage your texture folders. You can see that I've already loaded in my textures volume one that I've created over time uh, that I've been shooting textures. Or if you purchase textures from someone, you can load those in as well, which makes it really easy. So once you do that, um, you back to here, you can then go out here and pick your textures from this folder. And you might have, you know, 35 pages of textures and you say how do I go and find them well that's easy notice down here there's a star if I click the star for instance on this one it will automatically move it up here if I go to page here and then come back watch boom now it's one of my favorites at the very top of the list so anytime you're paging through your textures and you find one that you really like like let's say this one just click the little button here and then by the time we go back to the first page it too will be part of your favorites at the very top of the collection all right so let's go ahead and pick one and see what happens actually you know what I'm gonna hit never mind or cancel I love their lingo in this program uh, because what I want to do first and I'm going to cancel this is uh, introduce you to the image we'll do a quick uh, version off you, you may remember this from the Smoky Mountains I'm just going to do a quick command I and invert this picture uh, because that's what I did if you remember the image from a while ago that a number of you really liked and so I thought it would be a good one to show how this program works so once again let's go to totally rad pictures we'll go and pick our texture from this list and we've made it a one of the favorites here so I'm just gonna click on it and it's gonna start doing its work and what look at this how cool is this now we get a dialog box and I want to move it over so we can see it. Let me move it over here. Where we can pick and choose different overlay or blending mode um, choices. So let's pick multiply. And then we can affect the opacity. And there we go. If you recall, this is very similar to the look that I um, created the last time. But watch what we can do here. Let's say that... Eh, we don't really like that. No big deal. Let's go back to pick texture and let's try this one. Now I gotta believe there's a bunch of folks out there going, oh that's cool. <laughs> because it is cool. So let's just pump up the opacity. Let's go up to multiply again on this one and look what we get. So I don't know about you, but when I started using this program, I was like, this is exactly how layering should be. Okay, so let's go a little further. Let's leave this as our choice texture. Hit OK and watch what in our layers mask down here, what, what happens. It leaves you with all of the work that the Dirty t uh, Pictures program has done for you, which is really great because now you have a mask that's left there that you can work on. Um, and you can go in and manipulate those layers should you need to. So I'm going to go just collapse that for ease sake. And for me, I would just come in here and take a quick look at my levels command and maybe brighten it up just a little bit. And then I would probably come into my curves dialog and do a quick uh, S curve on this and pump up the contrast. And there you go. So I'm going to be... Uh, posting this as a podcast obviously and um, in that box you'll uh, if you click back 
uh, onto the box where I talk about this particular podcast on the blog, uh, you'll see a link uh, to bring you out to be able to purchase this wonderful program. So I hope uh, this has been helpful for you, and I hope it's a program that you'll have great fun with. Highly recommended.